Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the time machine. I'm Harper, and today I'm doing prompt number five of the 100 Drawing Prompts Challenge. So let's head on over to the Random Prompts Generator, aka the Mystical Fruit Bowl of Destiny, and choose the next prompt. Mystical Fruit Bowl of Destiny. All right, let's mix them up real good. And the fifth drawing prompt is two crowns for Queen Corinthia. That sounds easy enough. Let's go! Now you might be asking yourself, just why in the Sam hell would I want to use a drawing prompt in the old ways? And you might find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile, and you might find yourself in a beautiful house with a beautiful wife, and you might ask yourself, well, how did I get here? Letting the days go by, water flowing underground. Pardon? Oh, excuse me. Got a little sidetracked there with some talking heads. Where was I? Oh, right. Drawing prompts. And the question is, why use them? Well, because there are plenty of times when you just don't know what to draw. You got no new ideas and you just keep drawing the same shit over and over and over and over and it gets boring. But if you've got a list of drawing prompts, you can just look at said list and boom! Now you're drawing a three-headed snaggle gorf eating an ice cream cone while surfing hot lava waves on a zebra-striped pickle. Problem solved. So then, your next logical question is, of course, hey man, besides the super cool, awesome drawing prompts that I get right here on the Time Machine, the most prompt delicious channel on all of the YouTubes, how else can I get good prompts? Well, as a very wise woman once said, you can make them up your damn self. That's how. And to help you do that, I'm going to build a very scientific classification system for creating your own drawing prompts. Now let's start at the beginning. Obviously. I guess the first level of drawing prompt, let's call it level 1A, would be a one-word noun. Here's an example. Seahorse, or booger, or pterodactyl. Pretty straight ahead, not much room for interpretation. So then, for level 1B, you could stick two or more of these level 1As together and make a string of nouns. For example, pterodactyl booger, or seahorse pterodactyl, or booger baby back ribs. This level has a little more room for experimentation. Okay, let's move on to level two, verbs. Now, obviously, these are going to give you a chance to draw a lot more action because, you know, verbs are action words. Holy shit, this guy's a genius. Some examples might be farting, smoking, running, rowing, driving, crushing, creeping, sniffing, and sneezing. And yes, I agree, my examples are gerunds, not verbs, a verb functioning as a noun. But this ain't English class, and I thought adding a little ing would make it just a bit more exciting. Moving on! I think level 3 would be a combination of level 1 and level 2. Just stick one or more of each level together to form exciting prompts like farting snake, wombat sniffing witch, or smoking lizard lips. And if that's not thrilling and dangerous enough, for an extra bonus, you can add on your favorite adjectives, like stinky dog turd snowman, Elizabethan switchblade romance, cranberry laughing fart, or glip glop on a flim flam. What? <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Those examples again would be Stinky Dog Turd Snowman, Elizabethan Switchblade Romance, Cranberry Stomach Pump, or Gluten Free Medicated Pads. All right, let's finish it up with level four. The most difficult level, in my opinion. Level four drawing prompts are thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Por ejemplo, calm. Tense, conflicted, happy, sad, somber, mad. 
These are tough to draw when you make them literal, but the cool thing about these prompts is they allow the most space for abstraction and interpretation, so they can turn out to be the most fun and give you the coolest drawings. Oh, and I just thought of one more thing. Thanks, Columbo! A level four drawing prompt bonus would be drawing concepts. Concepts like life, death, and the ancient parable of the lost salami. I'm not sure about that last one, but take it from me, this stuff just sounds better in threes. Anyway, just like thoughts and feelings, concepts allow you to go nuts and pretty much draw anything you want, just as long as you can somehow connect it back to the original prompt. Using this super simple scientific methodology, you can add, subtract, and multiply the classifications to branch out and create almost any drawing prompt your little heart desires. Or if you don't believe in science, you can make drawing prompts out of song lyrics, book and movie titles, spam emails, restaurant menus, or graffiti in a public toilet stall. A veritable limitless supply of drawing prompts awaits. So don't ever let me hear that you don't know what to draw. Now I know some of you out there are raising your hands and wiggling and getting all antsy in your seats and going, ooh, 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 Harper, I've got one. I've got something to add. I've got another level for the drawing prompt pyramid. All right, all right, calm down. I see you. If you've got a real brainiac idea and you think you've got something to add to this painstakingly researched, handcrafted, highly informative, and entertaining drawing prompt periodic table, well, friends... Put your theories to the test by simply dropping them in the comments below, and the Time Machine viewers will decide if you get a big money grant for more prompt experiments, or if you're just a washed up has-been on the second tier university public speaking tour who doesn't even have a TED talk. Fair enough? Right on. <laughs> that was a tough paragraph. My painting of Queen Corinthia and her famous two crowns was done with a 6B pencil, acrylic paint, white gesso, and some colored pencils for a little spice. Oh, so nice. I got them marbles in my mouth and I can't do nothing about it. Hey kids, newsflash. Next week I'll be starting a new sketchbook, so naturally that means I'll be painting the cover. I'll be talking a little about the previous year and sharing some thoughts and goals for 2021. And I'm going to make a video about it. And you can watch it. And maybe you get inspired. Or maybe you won't care and you'll play video games instead, but you'll decide to give the video a thumbs up anyway, just to be cool. Maybe you subscribe, and then you tell a friend to do the same. And maybe you two each make your own sad ham and cheese hot pocket and have a Zoom call to watch each other sign up on my Patreon page. Yeah, maybe. Just maybe. And bippity boppity bacon for even more hot sketchbook action, cool stories about art and life, and dad jokes. Check out these rad videos right here. And if you thought this video was better than people talking on speakerphone in public, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon so you'll never miss another sketchbook video right here on the Time Machine. Thank you so much for watching. You're the the best around.